The baby monitor market is saturated with underwhelming options, making it extremely difficult for newer expecting parents to choose a monitor that fits their needs. So in this Vava baby monitor review, I'm gonna let you know if this baby monitor just adds to the noise or if it should make your short list of monitors to consider. Hey, this is John with Fathercraft, where we review baby and kid gear and provide online courses to help make this parenting thing just a bit easier. So be sure to check us out at fathercraft.com. So before we dive in, I wanna mention that there are affiliate links in the description below. So if you do decide to purchase any of these monitors that I mentioned in this review, then uh, please consider clicking those links. It's free to you, uh, but it goes a long way in helping our little channel grow, and we would appreciate it. Now let's dive in. The Vava Baby Monitor is a non-connected monitor that goes for about 160 bucks. In the box, you get the camera, the parent unit monitor, and the power cords and adapters. Aesthetically, it's reminiscent of the Eufy Space View, but less squat and weird looking. The camera is designed to be set on top of a flat surface, but there is a spot underneath that can be used to mount the camera to the wall using a screw and a wall anchor. The setup is your typical camera parent unit combo, and it's super easy to connect. Just plug everything in and you're good to go. The camera resolution is 720p and is fed to a 1280 by 720 monitor with a frame rate of about 18 frames per second. Now for comparison, the human eye sees the world around us in about 24 frames per second. So the feed in the monitor is going to look a little choppy. Now this is super average. Most non-connected monitors ride the resolution struggle bus. So uh, not much more to mention on that front. The camera has remote pan and tilt functions, but from my testing, they seem to lag a bit or become rather sticky. Meaning once you press the controls, it seems like it takes a beat or two to start moving. The max tilt range is 108 degrees and the max pan range is 270 degrees. For comparison, it's on par with the baby pixel zoom from Summer Infant, but is beat out by the Eufy Space View, which uh, has a 330 degree max pan range. A, I'll go ahead and call it an interesting, albeit in my opinion, rather pointless feature is the autopilot function. So according to the manual, this is called auto circulating, which definitely is not as cool sounding as autopilot, but honestly, uh, autopilot doesn't make a whole lot of sense in this scenario either. So regardless, while on the surface, this may sound interesting, I'm not quite sure what you would use this feature for unless you're feeling super lazy uh, and don't feel like holding the buttons down while searching for your baby in, in her nursery. Also on the face of the monitor, you have controls for zooming up to four times the normal focal length. Similar to the Infant Optics Pro's interchangeable lens system, there is an option to purchase a wide angle lens, which extends the field of view to 170 degrees. The parent unit also has visible LEDs that light up when noise is detected and can easily be seen uh, even when viewed during the day, um, but definitely easily seen uh, in low light situations. And there's also a push to talk button uh, on the monitor as well. Within the menu functions, you have controls for volume, brightness, and an option to add a, an additional camera. There's also a timer feature with a two hour, four hour, and six hour intervals. There are another set of controls within the gear icon as well. You can set the time, adjust the system sound, set the temperature scale uh, between Fahrenheit and Celsius, and set a screen auto off timer to either one minute, two minutes, five minutes, or just off altogether. You can also reset the monitor to the factory settings and you can find the customer service contact information, which I guess isn't all that helpful if the reason you need to call customer service is because your monitor isn't working, but it's there if you need it. The 24 hour battery life on this monitor is quite impressive, but to be clear, this is under normal use, meaning the video feed is not constantly on and the sound settings are set to uh, normal levels. In display mode, the battery lasts for about 12 hours, which is still more than enough juice for everyday use. All right, let's talk about range. According to the manual, the max distance from the camera the monitor can get is 300 meters. Now for us weird Americans that still use imperial units, that equates to about 984 feet, which is actually on the higher range as far as non-connected monitors go. So there are a couple of caveats here. One, this assumes a direct line of sight to the camera with the antenna positioned at 90 degrees. Now, obviously the monitor is rarely, if ever going to have a direct line of sight to the camera. So you're probably never going to get 984 feet from the camera with a direct line of sight. However, walking around my extremely modestly sized house with the camera here in the studio, I didn't really encounter any connection issues. But when I took the monitor outside, I quickly lost connection and definitely within the 984 feet connection range. So overall, there's not really much to write home about regarding the Vava baby monitor. And I would actually say it teeters on the edge of just being a part of the overall baby industrial complex noise. But that's not to say it doesn't have its benefits. It's 
fairly inexpensive as far as baby monitors go at 160 bucks, but it has a pretty solid build quality. The parent unit is relatively slim and can fit easily in your pocket. The minimal amount of controls on the parent unit are also easy to operate, and the buttons have a nice tactile feel for whatever that's worth. The range of this monitor will suit the needs of most families as long as you're within your house, but I would not expect to get very far with this monitor once you go outside. But again, the range is on par with non-connected monitors like the Infant Optics DXR8 Pro and the Summer Infant Baby Pixel Zoom. So if you're looking for a no frills, solidly built and inexpensive baby monitor, then this could be a good option for you. But I'd still recommend checking out the Summer Infant and also the Eufy Space View if you are for sure heading down the path of non-connected baby monitors. The Summer Infant has some pretty cool features like its sleep zone boundary box that will alert you if your baby moves outside of that zone. It also has voice activated alerts, which will turn on the video feed if the noise coming from your baby's room exceeds the threshold you set within the settings. The Eufy Space View along with the Summer Infant have uh, white noise and lullaby options. So in my opinion, uh, those are extremely valuable features that are not available with the Vava Baby Monitor. All right, that's all I've got for you today. If you liked this video and found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you're not subscribed already. Also, be sure to check us out at fathercraft.com where we've got a whole host of information for new and expecting parents, including some exciting details about our new soon to be released dad bag. That's right, Fathercraft is jumping into the diaper bag ring and we're gonna take over. We're excited to say the least. All right, people, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.